Hello everybody, it's Jochen Hein, and I'm back with the Macho vs. Hein campaign. It's February 2nd, 1942. Hmm, another dot base captured. That's not what I wanted. That's okay. That should be coming to a close here very soon. Hmm, here we go again. Trying to night bombing once again. Let's see if we can do a little more damage today. We got lucky yesterday because there was really bad weather over Magway. I don't know if we're going to get that lucky again. Okay, I think we're going to... We got most of the zeros we're going to get here now. These damaged Blenums, I think they're operating at extended range, so every one we damage has a higher chance of potentially uh, becoming an ops loss if they can't make the flight home. Well, oh, this is an air. Where are we bomb? What are we bombing here? All right, what are we? A city attack. Okay, so this is definitely an attack on the oil. City attack. He's targeting the industry. This is the third night in a row. All right, um, we destroyed one Blenheim, three damage, no losses for us. Okay, and once again, we're dealing with B-17s coming in again. Come on. Hate these B-17s, man. He's bombing us again. We just can't seem to stop him. Yep, yeah, it heavy rain is helping us here. What I do like right now is that well look at this. We guess we start off with critical hits before we even start, but whatever. At least it's coming in piecemeal. And clear sky, not good for us. We lose a zero, but he doesn't hit anything. That's good. And more come in. And let's let's kill some more of our zeros off. And this time they don't even do anything. <laughs> Listen. If I were him, I'd be super angry right now because he is missing every time he tries to attack the oil here. He he hasn't hit a single thing yet. All right. And again, no damage to the oil. How frustrating can that be? All right, once again, my fighters do absolutely nothing to stop these guys. What a joke. I hate night bombing with 400 bombers. To me, it's an exploit. Because it's just, it, it, there's some debuffing going on that's not fair. At least they're not hitting crap. I guess I, that's good, right? Let me guess, Chandler. No, the Clark today. Okay, he's definitely doing something at Midway. ASW near Perth. And that's us unloading at the Horn Islands. K-10 again. Uh, that sub has been here for a long time. Hmm. 
I wonder what this is. <laughs> As if he doesn't already know. Okay, here we go. A lot of subs near Numeo. Thunderstorms, not good for us today. Okay, we're bombing up this unit, just trying to break him up. Overcast, not great. Von Aron Garrison Battalion and Medon Garrison Battalion. I don't really know what these guys' actual real strength is. We're chipping away at them, though. Whatever it is. And the Kates get some love too. Alright, alright. Madan Base Force, Madan Garrison Battalion. Second Garrison Battalion. Wish I knew their strength. All right, let's see how many losses we take today. Um, it's probably going to be a lot because we have, you know, bad weather here. Well, yeah, a lot of hits, a lot of hits on our aircraft. We're not doing any damage to this place. That's some really bad strike coordination, too. Kind of quiet. Air phase, not too bad. We didn't do too well on the night bombing stuff, but it's what it is. Sure hope we're actually hitting these things. Good. Okay, let's get some bombing. Need to take out some supplies here. 
Not too bad. Good. Good. Nice and quiet. Oh, what is this? Transport Catalina shot down by Cap. I wonder if he's trying to pull those guys out of there. Huh. I didn't know you could shoot down transports that were picking up units. Because I doubt he's bringing any in. That's cool. Alright, here we go. Land combat. What do we got today? Deliberate attack here. This should go well. Yeah, we got him. Alright, we push these guys out of the way. No big deal. Inflict some losses on the way. Excellent. Our losses were minimal. Alright. I am attacking him now to close ahead and kill this unit off once and for all. Because he's trying to pull it out now. So, we might as well just kill it. There it is. And that is literally the last Australian or allied troops in all of New Guinea. They are gone. See you later, guys. Look at all those devices. That's a nice haul. Okay, allied suicide attack at Xiaoyang. And yet they survive. This guy's so cold blooded, man. Eighty-eight Chinese Corps retreating towards Chikyong. That's cool. I don't know if I've ever seen a message like that before. I guess no. I have once before. That's kind of cool. We forced them to retreat because they were so jacked up. Their morale probably hit like rock bottom and they just said to heck with it. We're done. And they left. Okay, this is a fast and easy turn. Let's take a look at it. Let's get right into it. <sighs> okay. Aircraft losses today. Not so great. Uh, it's just saying five, ten zeros were lost. That seems kind of ridiculous. Whatever. Uh, but he lost five Catalinas. I guess they were trying to pull those units out of Port Moresby, so we shot five of them down. That's kind of cool. Uh, two Sally shot down by Flack, but we didn't see that animation. Two Blenheims lost. Up. Oh, B-17D, that's good. And uh, yeah. Okay. Not, not terrible. So, 14 losses of those. Three killed pilots, two wounded pilots. We'll go ahead and check on those wounded pilots right now. Let's see, what do we got? Mm, reserve. Reserve. Let's see this guy. Reserve. All right. So we st the wounded pilot list continues to grow, but we are getting some that are coming back soon. Okay. So I'm not. We didn't lose any army loss points this turn. He went up probably about twenty or thirty. Uh, ship sunk. Nothing reported there, and nothing for us. No strat points. Score more or less unchanged. All right, so let's just get let's get onto it. In China, it looks like 
quite a bit more of my troops have made it into Ankang, which makes me feel a lot better about that recon regiment that was just sitting out there. So we'll put these guys in combat mode now. So even if we are attacked, um, we'll be okay. So I'm glad those guys made it in there. In the meantime, 4,400 AV is still on its way in. And they're going to need kind of a fair amount of time, uh, several more days to get in there. Because I guess the fatigue levels are kind of high here, and it's slowing them down every day. Fatigue from the two consecutive days of attacks. Down here, um, we were able to push two units off road. So these guys are here, and I may actually pursue them into this next hex to continue driving them out. I don't know. Or maybe we'll just bomb them because I believe that's clear terrain. We can damage them some more. But we did secure this junction here. Over here, we still see a move arrow heading into this area. I don't know exactly what he's moving. My guess is just a couple smaller units. We're slowly gaining uh, AV here. I'm waiting on some more artillery to show up from here and tanks. So tanks are going to start moving across this next turn. We'll tell these guys set all to march. So there we go. Got some more tank units coming across here. And a little bit further south, these guys are now heading back towards Kansian, which is kind of a pain in the butt. We are pursuing, but I don't know if we're going to get there in time to stop them. We may just be a day behind him at every hex on his way into Kansian. So he gets to move without being interrupted. And we're going to have to constantly stop behind him. So he may actually take the space back from us before we can get in there. I don't really have anything to send in there right now. So that he kind of got away from us here. Not much I can do about it. Burma, we are getting close to getting into Lido. No aircraft there, so that's good. He's definitely been bombing the heck out of this unit here at Magway. It looks like... We did take some losses last turn, but I have replacements. So we'll just keep these guys topped off. We're getting kind of close to the moonlight uh, subsiding, so maybe one more day or a couple more days of night bombing, and then we'll be done with that. In the meantime, it looks like I had a lot of my anti-aircraft guns show up here, which is great because my aircraft are not effective. So hopefully some of these anti-aircraft guns showing up here will start causing some more damage for them. And I have a lot more on the way, too. So let me see how many more. These guys will start moving tomorrow. Yeah, I'm moving a lot of anti-aircraft into Magway since he's made it abundantly clear that he wants this base damaged. So we'll stack a lot of anti-aircraft here to make it costly for him. Okay, some good news in the Palembang front. My, my gigantic... Uh, uh, supply task force is one hex out of Palembang, which means we go in tomorrow to start the uh, supply delivery, which should bump these guys up a bit. And then we're going to couple that with an attack. I'm looking at the, the disruption and fatigue levels, and I think they're about as good as they're going to get. This is about standard that you're going to see when you're dealing with these malaria zone bases, which this is what this is, right? If we look at the map here, where's the weather map? Weather map. Uh, malaria zone. We're in it right now. So that's just kind of standard uh, fatigue and disruption you're going to get from that. But I feel comfortable about attacking tomorrow. We do need to attack because he's getting ahead of us on the damage to the airfield. So we got to go in. We've had bad weather, canceled missions, you name it. So we have not been able to put as many bombs on Palambing as I would like. So tomorrow we attack again with Almost 3,200 AV versus his 600 some odd whatever he's got left. And I'm hoping all these uh, heavy cruisers uh, disrupt the infantry enough for our attack to be more successful. In Batavia, it looks like the last of our units or uh, unit fragments has arrived. However, I still want to wait one more day or two to see if these guys move all the way out because they've been pointing out of here for a few days. Uh, the more troops we can get out of here, the better before we attack. 
The 65th Brigade has arrived here, so we will deliver attack tomorrow. And my armor will be into this hex tomorrow to attack in two turns. We just also arrived in Banjuwangi, so we're going to tell these guys to go ahead and deliver attack. And that'll be the last base here, after which I can go ahead and rail them back into Surabaya if I don't want them to walk. Still haven't captured this base yet. Uh, I think the reason is is that these stupid little dot bases are more enticing to the auto flip mechanic. So we're just going to go ahead and discontinue that. I don't need any more dot bases right now. We can wait until this base flips because I need this base. I need the oil right now. All right. So it looks like he was using some of these guys from cans to... Uh, pull out units from here. Unfortunately, he probably did get some out, so now he can rebuild that unit over here without having to wait. I don't know how many days he's been trying to transport it out. This may be the first, because this is the first time we've seen us kill his transport planes. All the same, um, it's gone. It's over with. We don't have to worry about it now. And I think it's time for us to get into some offensive operations with these zeros. I'm thinking if we do a little something something like this tomorrow watch yeah i think we should go sweep cans and see what we can see he's got some fighters there it is at normal radius still with drop tanks so we should not be taking necessarily excessive ops losses from this so we'll we'll give it a shot let's send these guys up and see what they can do and here is your proof that we killed some aircraft today these little tick marks for experience correlate to these uh, kill markings here so good for us I'll take some free kills any day uh, fortunately this fighter squadron here has just been getting blasted by these stupid uh, B-17s I had everything I have available up in cap and we've just lost a lot of aircraft to these bombers and their ridiculous overpowered night bombing mechanic that nerfs fighters and leaves bombers strong um, we don't have much to show for it, except for some injured and killed pilots, which is not great. But on the flip side, we've defend we also helped defend the base because they did not damage anything at all. Yeah, and I think that's it. This turn was pretty quiet. Tomorrow should be really good. We hit Palambang again. I don't think we're going to take it, but I think we're going to inflict a lot of losses on them. So I'm looking forward to that attack. Uh, I want to drop the fort. I want to just mutilate his units. And I'm hoping that my tactic of using these heavy cruisers supporting these supply ships dropping supply will be effective. And we can kind of piggyback off of that activity to support the ground attack later in the day. I'll catch you guys on the next one.